Hey guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to put maneuvers together, tactics and strategies together so they work as a combo. Watch this. I go into a merge. We talked about merges before. I go into a merge. Then what do I do? What's the strength of a BF-109? It's climbing. Go to a merge. When the enemy turns, he loses energy. While he's losing energy, you play for your strength, which is climbing. So merge, climb. And then I boom and zoom. Okay, this is this is what a lot of other players, other other YouTubers don't go through. It's you need combination of maneuvers to set up kills at times, and this is one of those times. Now you, I'm, I'm sure you guys are thinking that, oh come on, it's a P47D. You guys were at low altitude. Clearly, we had more speed. Yeah, you're right. So the next scenario, what I'm going to show you is me doing the same thing against a Spitfire. At I think about 5,000 or 6,000 meters. So I kill this guy, and then basically I'm gonna run through with you guys what I do again. And after that, after the second scenario, the third scenario, I'm gonna show you guys how effective this maneuver is against uh, multiple enemies. Now, the Spitfire kills a buddy of mine, so he's turning, I'm turning, except he turned earlier than me, and he's gaining a lot of speed, and he's coming right at me. Look what I do. All I'm doing is gain speed. I'm sure he got a lot more speed than I do. Because the <laughs> because of how fast he's closing in. I go into a merge. Okay, I go into a merge. He's thirsty. I climb. Look at the amount of distance I'm gaining on him. Look at that. That's a Spitfire. It's clearly more um, a lot more better than I am at higher altitudes. It's clearly, you know, can turn better than you. I think the only thing I can do is dive if he's on top of me. So, look what just happened. Merge. I climbed. Now I'm getting rid of boom and zoom. It was, e I mean, it's easy. Easy said. But once, when you guys learn how to read the enemy, trust me, you guys will be killing it uh, using this maneuver. Like, it's it's so easy to do, too. You don't always have to go head-on with everybody. L trust me. A lot, of, a lot of good players, they can head-on. But if you're new to this game and you're trying to head-on and you see Fly Daily doing it and you see, you know, Tommy doing it, you got to realize these guys have been playing a lot of games. And some of them, to get that perfect game, they could have played like 20 losses. You know, 10, 20 losses just to get that perfect game. You guys got to realize that. And, alright, this is a mistake I made. I followed the Spitfire down low while he's maneuvering. I, B, I'm playing BF-109 for the first time in maybe a couple of months. So, that was a mistake that I made. So, never ever follow a um, Spitfire down like that. When they do that, just go up, boom, get on top of them, and boom and zoom them from the top. And this time he's gonna try to go do the same thing again, except this time he dies. He made a mistake on his part. Now the next scenario, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be attacking the enemy from behind at higher altitude, and his friendlies are gonna are gonna come in, and you're gonna see um, doing this maneuver how it helps to gain that energy advantage. Now there's a P47. That's a D variant. See those P-51s and the other P-47, they're all going to be coming towards me after they kill that bomber. So, what I do is attack the P-47. I don't follow him. Remember the lesson, lessons learned, don't follow the enemy. And merge. And all I do after that merge is climb. That's it. Simple as that. Now, he's trying He's trying to get some guns on me, he's too slow, he's too low, and I can see that. See, I could easily go up vertical and come down on him, but I don't want to do that because his friendlies are so close. So, there we go. I can see that they started to come towards me, okay? Now, also another thing is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be showing you two other videos 
of me using this same tactic over and over. I'm gonna drill this tactic into you guys to a point that it becomes natural to you, you all. And this time, I can see a P-47 coming in, I can see F-6F coming in, I'm sorry, P-51 coming in. And I decided to go vertical for long. Now, don't ever do what I did right here. He got contrails coming up, I know he's gonna have a hard time in. That's the only reason why I went for him. Now, the second one here, this F-6F decided to go head on with me, I avoided. Completely. Remember, there's another P-47 behind me. So what I do is, um, I go vertical one more time. Remember, he lost a lot of energy when he, when, he, when he went up with me. Okay? Remember that. But notice what I'm doing. It's just still the same maneuver again, over and over again. It just merge. Get altitude, boom and zoom. Merge, get altitude, boom and zoom. So in the next two videos I'm going to put out there, they're going to be short, one versus one videos. That's just going to clearly explain how to do this over and over. So, thanks for watching, guys.